Loft Dynamics brought its latest full motion virtual reality simulator to the Heli Expo show in Atlanta. And I got to put on the virtual reality headset and give it a whirl. The company has partnered closely with Airbus on the sim so that it replicates the experience of flying the H125. We have this partnership with um, Airbus. Um, Airbus is um, also um, uh, qualifying the device. So this is the only Airbus approved training device uh, which is existing there. So they uh, sent their factory and uh, test pilots to do all the maneuver testing. It's interesting that Loft has opted to go the virtual reality route instead of mixed reality. And the reason is that with virtual reality, it's possible to create a 3D, 360 degree view in any direction without the complexity of trying to match real world cockpit equipment with a virtual outside world. This also makes it easier to certify the simulator. In a nutshell, it's like a full fire simulator in the format of a Swiss Army knife, uh, much more compact and uh, more affordable, more realistic. After donning the Vario headset, I had to make sure it was properly aligned, then off I went. The simulator operator sits at a station equipped with three monitors where he can manage the simulator and watch what I'm seeing through the headset. After lifting off, he handed the controls over to me one at a time, starting with the collective, then pedals, and finally the cyclic. One thing I noticed is that loft engineers inject an artificially represented body inside the virtual view so that I can actually see my hands manipulating the controls and cockpit knobs and buttons. This adds another layer of realness to the virtual reality experience. The simulator handles much like the real Airbus H125A star and is very responsive with no lag between moving the controls and seeing and feeling the helicopter respond. I flew around for a bit getting the feel for the simulator. Then the operator moved the time of day to sunset, then nighttime. The instruments were easily readable as the sunlight dimmed. I reached with my real hand to adjust the day-night light switch on the panel and I could see my animated arm through the VR headset matching what I was feeling. Back in daylight, the operator gradually reduced the visibility until I was in full instrument conditions and had to transition to flying solely by reference to instruments. This will be a tremendous tool for inadvertent flight into instrument conditions prevention training. The operator plugged in turbulence so I could feel the mild, moderate, and severe settings. It felt very realistic. I ended the flight with a left turn and descent to attempt a hover stop over the runway, but I misjudged the height of the helicopter over the ground and ended up hitting pretty hard, which the simulator dutifully replicated. Getting used to the sight picture of the simulated helicopter when close to the ground is a challenge in any simulator, but I don't think it would take much time in the loft device. Our commitment to the helicopter community is um, that we provide the training everywhere uh, to everyone. And uh, from that point of view, uh, it's, it's kind of like not uh, limited to, to uh, anything. And uh, rotary wing is actually not the only thing. There are other types uh, also uh, coming up very soon. Mm -hmm.